I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in these categories. This is a great exercise if you like to play in tournaments because a lot of times they pre-select categories or hands for a prize. It's also a great way to push yourself to play something you might not normally think about. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force hands in these categories. We'll alternate being dealer, non-dealer. So we'll get 14 and 13 tiles respectively. Then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have flowers, a green dragon, a south, one, two, four, six in bams, two, seven in dots, one, two, seven, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would force consecutive run. One, two, one, two, the flowers. We might be able to span up to four. There is a hand in consecutive run that uses the matching dragon. Let's pass those so we have tiles for the next pass. If we did this, we'd have like numbers. If we had everything we want, we would be stuck with like numbers. Let's pass these. Flower, two. If we weren't forcing a hand, I'd play like numbers with twos. But here, I would play probably flowers. There are two hands that use flowers. I wonder if maybe we could play a wind hand with the year tiles and play winds and dragons. Let's hold the twos and this pair and see if we get consecutive tiles around this two or switch to like numbers, I mean um, winds and dragons with the year. We did pick up a pair, but we have one, two potential more so. Let's pass these three. We've got a north and an east. Let's keep the winds. We do have one, two, Here's one, two, five consecutive run potential. One through five, one, two, four. We might be able to do single pair Pung Kong. Let's let the five go.
there's a one. Okay, consecutive. Consecutive might be coming in. One, two. Okay, if we can get three dots. Nine, four, three, Oh, we got the four. Okay. One, two, three, gap, four with flowers. So let's see. Let's pass these three. We got a four dot. One, two, four, one, two, four. Let's pass these. We got a white dragon and a green dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, there's a seven. All right, now let's see. The dragon consecutive hand does not use flowers, so I would let that go. And then I would pick either bams or dots. Having a pair might be reassuring. We do have a gap, no three dot. Let's let the single go. One and three. We really don't need this one. We have three tiles we can pass. That's a bit risky. Let's put this in there. Single pair Pung Kong. We did end up getting a one. One, two, four dragon. I would discard those. But here we have no gaps for consecutive run. I'd push that. We have a joker, one, two, four in cracks, six, nine in bams, two, three, six, seven, nine in dots, pair two, pair seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? We have winds and dragons to force or quince. I think I might force a quint here. We could do two, three, four, four. Two, three, four, four. That is the second one, second quint. Or we could do five, seven, nine. So let's keep these and these and see what happens. Let's pass these. We've got a dragon. That is in a quint, a dragon. Let's just keep it. We have a gap, no flowers. Let's pass these. We got a two. I would say dragon quint. Joker bait. Here's a south. No, no winds in quints. Two, three, four, four, five, seven, nine. Let's pass these three. Whoa. 
east and west six. Let's mm, let's give up on odds. Here's a flower. Let's see. We're going across. Let's break up the pair. We don't have very many. We we do have discards. Now that we have a flower, we have no gaps. So let's keep the pair for joker bait. We have lots of discards this way. Sevens. I wonder if we can get five, six crack, seven, seven. We got a dragon though. Let's break it up. Whoa, I don't know who would do that, but it's been done. Let's see, I think I would pass. Two for optional cross. So we have discards and joker bait. One of these would work, but we'd have joker bait with one of those as well. And if the quint didn't come in, we could always play a year hand. The other thing I was thinking, we could even play a wind and dragon hand. We could play two zero two zero with dragons. But I think I would push for the quint. We have jokers, a flower, west, south, four, seven in dots, three, four in bams with a pair of threes, five, seven, nine, pair of fives. We need to force winds and dragons. I would keep that and I would keep these pairs. There are hands that use winds with number tiles, north and south with odds, east and west with evens, but our multiples are with odds. Let's keep the wins and these multiples and see what comes in. Flower and a north. We have a three. North and south with threes. No keepers. One of each suit. West. We got ones. I would focus on wins. I think I would maybe, hmm, three, nine. That's pretty risky in one suit. I think I would do mixed suits. Eight, five, two, break this up. We're on uh, right, we're, uh, we're going across actually. So we could maybe keep this three for joker bait later. And we could always break it up. Let's pass one of each suit. There's south. And we have tiles we can pass. Green dragon. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Look what we got. 
a three. I think I would want to pass fully. We've got a four, four, eight joker bait here. I would play news concealed, news concealed. Joker bait. There are links in the video description below for that strategy. That was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. It's hit or miss, but it's a lot of fun to try to get a joker in your hand. With the right decision making at the right time, you can force just about any category on the card with your tiles. I've started with one tile and was able to make a hand work. Okay, three, two, one. American Mahjong is very flexible and you can really make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.